What's up guys, this is Oscar from CJC Off-Road and today we're gonna be showing you how to install your Carly caster shims on an 05 and up Ford for your Carly suspension systems. So today we have the car on the lift. Uh, you necessarily don't need it on a lift. You can be doing this in your driveway. I'm gonna take you through the necessary tools and steps to get this done and done right. Uh, so first off, we're gonna need needle nose pliers. Uh, there is a little cotter pin that you're gonna need to take out. That's pretty simple. All right, so now that the cotter pin's out, we're gonna go ahead and take off this castle nut. For that, we're gonna use a inch and an eighth socket. We do have it on the gun for this purpose. Uh, you can use a ratcheting wrench or a wrench in general if that's all you have. The torque from factory is only about 75 foot-pounds, so you're not gonna need too much manpower. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. So we're gonna take the castle nut off just to be level with the stud, and that's for the simple purpose of shocking out this caster shim. So if it, as long as this is even with it, the castle nut is even with the stud, you're gonna be good. It protects the actual stud from getting damaged when you're slamming it with a hammer. It's also gonna protect the th threads of the castle nut. So for that, we're gonna use a big, as big of a hammer as you can find because sometimes these things are in there. So if they don't wanna come out, if they're being too stubborn, I would recommend using some type of penetrating lube. Uh, it usually does come out pretty easily, especially on these new trucks. But what you're gonna wanna do is hit directly on the top of this stud. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so once you see some movement in your caster shim, you're usually good to go ahead and use a medium to big pry bar to yank out the rest of the way. You wanna get the pry bar in the, between the actual knuckle of the axle and the lip that is provided on the caster shim. Should be pretty simple once you have it shocked loose. And just like that, it's gonna come out. Okay, so now that we have the original caster shim out, it's go, time to go ahead and replace it with the new Carly supplied caster shim. Now we get a lot of questions on placement of this. So basically we're gonna have this notch facing towards the back of the truck. When we install it, it's gonna go in simple, put it right over the stud. You may need to maneuver the axle or the axle just a little bit to get it in. Once you have it semi put into place like this, we're gonna go ahead and grab the one and a socket you have Place it directly over the stud. Make sure you don't hit the stud, obviously. Grab that same hammer, and we're gonna hammer it straight in. So we're gonna hit that until you hear a change of tone. You may or may not hear it in the video, but there's gonna be a very big change of tone, and that's when you know the caster shim is all the way in. Once your caster shim is in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put the castle nut back on. Thread it on by hand first to save that stud from stripping out. Grab your inch and a socket with your gun or wrench. You're gonna wanna lightly throw it on because once again, the torque is only 75 foot-pounds. Grab a torque wrench, you're gonna set that to 75 foot-pounds. You're gonna torque it, and then once it is torqued, in the instructions it will say torque, and then move until you have the opening for the cotter pin, which you're gonna replace. Once you're torqued and your holes are all lined up, we're gonna to wanna to put the stock or new cotter pin in. It goes directly in the way you took it out. All right, so now that you have your cotter pin set, you are good to go on this side. You are good to go on the next side as well. It's the same procedure on this side as it is the other side. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, give us a call or email at TJC Off-Road.